we finally get to see the real light shed on the police and get innocent people out of prison. Mm -hmm. Odessa police raid what they believe is a drug infested house only to find a shocking surprise. Good evening everyone, they didn't find any drugs, instead they found a poster telling them they were on a reality show called Cop Busters. Eddie Garcia joins us now live in the newsroom with a story. Eddie, what is Cop Busters and what are they trying to do? Well, Tatum, it's an online reality show that goes around the nation exposing what they say is police corruption. The reason they came to Odessa is because they were asked by a man who says his daughter is falsely imprisoned. Video cameras, plants masquerading as drugs, and a message are what police found while serving a search warrant today. The best equipment known to man is what Cop Busters has, and we're going to continue going across America busting these cops. The reality show team out of Austin has been setting up the fake drug den for six months, going through painstaking methods to keep it a secret. We had to use encrypted emails. We had to use Walmart blow-up cell phones in case our phones were tapped. But why all the trouble? Get Yolanda Madden out of prison. In 2005, Odessa woman Yolanda Madden was convicted of possession of marijuana with the intent to distribute. Now, she's serving a seven-year prison sentence. I can prove absolutely without a doubt she's innocent. Her father says he's been trying to get a court to retry the case since the conviction. We had a witness that planted the drugs. He testified in court that he planted the drugs. Cop Buster says the show exists to help fix the system. What do you say to the skeptics who might say this is a publicity stunt? Watch our TV show, Cop Busters, and see the proof to prove they've got crooked cops here. You may be interested to know that Cooper himself is a former police officer here locally. Odessa police say that this matter is still under investigation, and at this point, they're looking to see if any laws were broken. We will continue to investigate the Yolanda Madden case and bring you any developments as they come around. Live in the newsroom, Eddie Garcia, CBS 7 News.